Misha Barton was a jet-setting toddler who moved from London to New York and featured in theatre, TV and modelling all before becoming a teenager. After parts in movies like Lawn Dogs, Notting Hill and The Sixth Sense, her role as Marissa in The O.C. made her the most famous teenager in the world. When she's not gracing the cover of fashion and style magazines, she's setting trends with her own line of handbags and accessories, speaking out for a range of charities, featuring in pop videos and still finding time to be a movie star. She puts the it in it, girl. Here's Misha Barton. So how are you going to be my girl? Have you ever seen yourself that large on a screen before? That big? Only when the OC was doing promos. Yeah. You're huge! <laughs> Are you sitting on a bag? What? Yeah, well... Are I we gonna, we, we, we can dance around it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that one of yours? Yeah. Here's a question for you, because you design handbags. Well, yeah, I just started to, yeah. Um, do, because you're an L.A. local, do you have to make them to fit little doggies in? <laughs> you know... Discuss. I, I, um, yeah, not so much up my alley, so, yeah. I, it's something to consider. If you think of it like a, you have a little I'll name it miniature, after you. Please do. do. Call yeah, it the robe, the robe bag. handbag. Thank yeah. you very much. Just like a little sidecar thing. Yeah, for or your chihuahua. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Uh, now, of course, you uh, did the MTV Awards last night. I did, yeah. How that was, was that? Fun. No, it was really fun. It's a good show. Now, when you do something like that, do you hang around afterwards and, you know, chat to fellow, you know, big-name people from overseas or in town, or do you, as we would say here, bugger off? <laughs> it depends. I mean, uh, it was cool. Juliet uh, Lewis from Juliet and the Licks was there, and she's cool, and the Vines were really cool last night, and so, yeah, there was a good crowd. It was a good group of people. So, you, do you go home and just hang out? Do you do stuff like that? What, in my spare time? No, never, ever. Yeah, ever. I never do. <laughs> I'm actually a nomad. I have no home. Because I, 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 it's hard to sometimes picture people like you, these famous, wonderful <laughs> starlets that we see out and about, just at home in your tracky dacks watching TV with popcorn. Well, I'm not exactly a sweatpant like LA type, home type anyway, but um, I do spend tons of time at home with my dogs and I do all the usual things. The do they have little cleaning. bags? They don't, and they don't have clothes, and they don't have any of the above. They're happy just being dogs. <laughs> so you clean around the house? Well, yeah, I've got my spot, I've got my apartment that I take care of. And what sort of stuff do you watch? Like, if you're watching telly, what do you watch? Um, I watch Animal Planet, Discovery Channel, National Geographic, all of those kinds of shows. You're the coolest person I know. I've heard that you really enjoy Animal Planet. I was very impressed. David Attenborough is like my hero, so... I totally met him and he, like, accidentally <laughs> stirred my coffee thinking it was his and I nearly fainted. <laughs> wow, well, I, I would too, actually. I want to be reincarnated as him. Oh, I would, I would love to get to do what he does, to Obviously, go out and do that kind of thing. who wouldn't? I mean, he's got the best job in the world, I think. Would you, would you want to do something like that? Yeah. Yeah, are you kidding? What's your favourite animal? Ooh, God, that's really difficult. It's well, what I, I do. Always, I what play I do. animal association with people where, like, I relate people to animals, so I am always get giraffe. I know it's really unoriginal because I'm tall and they've got, like, long eyelashes, I think, and big eyes. That's like, <laughs> the only, it's literally the only thing that we have in common. Or pu puppies. I always get, like, a dog. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I guess I have a playful personality. But, like, so, yeah, it's true. I like dogs and giraffes. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. So, uh, well, I can't imagine, though, like, do you get to go out and, and do that? kind of thing. I've had the chance to go out and do that kind of stuff which is really cool you have yeah I haven't been on a safari yet or anything like that I mean I've definitely uh, I go to like every zoo although I find them mildly depressing and I go to like I go on I've been on trips where I've seen animals in the wild and stuff but I haven't done a proper safari but you like to get away and do stuff like that I've heard yeah like, no, get I out travel into the tons. yeah I like to go out to the desert out in LA I love road trips it's my idea of a really fun time what do you do out in the desert do you strap a big rocket to your back and try to catch road runners what do you do <laughs> that's precisely what I do because <laughs> um, when you think going out into the desert I don't sort of think oh, I've got a day off I might just go out and try to you know die of thirst there's ooh, yeah it's fun <laughs> that's my idea of a good time no I don't know uh, relax I suppose do the usual things, listen to music and drive out to the desert. It's a gorgeous drive and it doesn't take too long and you've got the dogs out the window in the back of the car and it's a good music. It's 
Good times. It's a good time. And you've got lots of movies coming out at the moment. Do you, you know, I know you've got a, a film coming up with Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. Did he re remember you from your work in uh, Sixth Sense? <laughs> Bruce is so cool. He's like too cool for school. I can't even explain. He was like, but yes, of course he remembered me. But he was like, I just can't. Uh, you have no idea how cool Bruce Willis is. You just look at him and you're like, wow, like that guy's really cool. When he says something serious to you, is it, is it hard to trust him because he does that weird smirking thing sometimes? Oh, yeah. Like he's just kind of, you know, done something that yeah, you don't he, know about. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and he ad-libbed a lot of his lines in this movie and he's very funny. A very, I mean, he says some outrageous things and a lot of them he came up with himself because he plays an ex-army war veteran, like a Desert Storm vet that comes back and is the principal of this school. And so his part's very comedic. And, and I mean, I was shocked at how really funny he was and we had a great time. Well, if you need funny guys who know how to be army dudes, we've got two very skinny yeah. ones just over <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, that was awesome. Now, these gentlemen, these. Misha Garvin, would you like to win 20 bucks in 20 seconds? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's start the clock. Do you think you can dance? Uh, yeah. Do sure. you still get the OC, th OC theme song stuck in your head? Not anymore, thank God. What would you like to be reincarnated as? Uh, David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a ghost? Uh, no. Felt one. Ooh. Yeah. Are you planning to vote in the US presidential election? Of course. Who for? Uh, Hillary. Ah, do you ever lie about having read a book just to sound smart? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you still have the first piece of fan mail you ever received? Mm, no, that sounds awful. <laughs> who, who, who was your first celebrity crush? Um, oh, wow. I just, I'm awful with things like that. Probably like Brad Pitt back when I was young, that he was like in his heyday. The dude's still hot now, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Who would you turn gay for, Misha Barton? Oh, wow, I don't know. I, I don't know. Ooh, I'm bad at things like that. It's not something I think about very often. <laughs> <laughs> David, we can wait. We can wait, Misha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't mind. Um, what about Juliet Lewis? Was she uh, like on stage last night? Huh? Yeah, yeah, she's definitely the wild. Yes, that would be an interesting matchup, wouldn't it? And she used to go with Brad Pitt. Perfect match. <laughs> I'm gonna take the twenty bucks. I like my answer. Misha <laughs> Bond, everybody. Thank you very much. Nice to have you on.